Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome to day 36 of the Command 66 Day Challenge. Marty Miller with Summit Property Group from Houston coming back to you today. And for the past 35 days, we have been learning a ton about the Command submenus. Today, we're going to switch it up just slightly, and we're going to get into groups, which is actually going to take us into the Connect portion of Command. So you can get to groups either by clicking on Connect or going straight from the submenu into groups there. When we get into groups, you'll actually find, for many of you, you may not even know this page existed, haven't really played with it, and yet all of a sudden, you'll realize that you're members of groups here on the left-hand side. So that may be through um, your job title, your affiliations, um, perhaps your team leader has already created some groups and added you to them. Um, so you can see, for example, Texas South is the region that I'm in. So we actually have an entire group set up for Texas South, created by the labs team. And you can see people are posting things here all from the Texas South region. So today's challenge is to get in here, learn a little bit more about the groups, and then you actually have the opportunity to create your own group. So I would suggest that be a best practice rule for things like um, maybe you're on the ALC and you are the lead of a committee. So you're in charge of the culture committee or the tech committee or the um, you know marketing committee growth, etc. You could create a little group within Commands Connect and then basically go through, name your group, tell us a little bit about it, and then when you get down to here to members, let's just say I wanted to invite Randy Olive, my team leader, to my group, I could type in his name, and there you go, his name would come up. So this might be the KW Platinum Culture Committee and all things culture go here. Um, you could put keywords if you wanted it to be a searchable group. This is gonna be a private closed group, so we don't necessarily need to do that. Um, so you can see there's a couple of different icons, just like Facebook, closed group, searchable with private posts, meaning that people can search for the group, or you could keep it completely private where only you can invite people to it. Um, if I were to create this group, it would show up over here on the left-hand side, and Randy would get an email that said I had invited him to a new Connect group. So that's today's challenge, essentially, is to get in, one, learn about the group section of KW Command and the Connect side, and go through, see if there's a group that you might um, have a reason to create, invite a few people, create the group, um, and start getting you know engaged and labbing different things and start masterminding and all the different things that you can do in a group. Hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday, and as always, I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks so much.